here at On The Go Wrestling Q&A. My name is Jason Hevel. I'm here at the Twisted Pig, the official after party of Legacy Cha- Legacy Championship Wrestling. I'm here with the Legacy Champion, the whole Fox and Show, A.R. Fox. What's up, man? What's up, buddy? I'm good. How are you doing tonight? I'm, I'm great. Successful title defense. I'm, I'm, I'm rolling, baby. After you, you and Strickland tore the house down, what was your thoughts going into the match, and what was your thoughts after the match? I was real excited going into it. We haven't had a singles match in some years now, so uh, I was I was really looking forward to it. And then uh, after the match, you know, I was totally satisfied with it. And uh, it was even better that I came out on top with the championship. So next next show you have Eddie Smooth. What's your thoughts about that? Well, see, me and Eddie, we went to war a few times, you know. Got all the respect in the world for him. But uh, right now I'm on top of my game. I got a lot of momentum coming into this one. So, uh, you know, I'm feeling real confident about facing Eddie Smooth again. I know the man real well now after having an Iron Man match with him as well as regular matches with him. So uh, I'm ready for him. Eddie Smooth, photo finish, whatever he got, he could bring it all, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. The Legacy Championship is going nowhere soon. So how long has A.R. Fox been in the wrestling business? Um, uh, well, I started to train res- to re- pro wrestling at, in March of 07. So it's a while. Who was some of your uh, primary trainers, and what inspired you to be a pro wrestler? I only have one trainer, Mr. Hughes. Uh, Curtis Hughes, Total Protection. He was also the big cat at one point. The best bodyguard in the biz, baby. Uh, yeah, man, he's taught me everything I know. And he taught me how to work. He taught me how to work. Uh, yeah, that's the man I give all my training credit to. Uh, I spent some time in a dojo in Japan twice. Uh, so that also helped fine tune me. But, uh, all my training, all that credit goes to Mr. Hughes, the big homie. What inspired you to be a, become a pro wrestler? Rob Van Dam. Uh, I was a kid up in Connecticut, which Northeast. Clearly, we had ECW on our TVs, with the certain channels or syndication, whatever, however that works. But we got ECW where I was from. So, you know, Rob Van Dam was like the top dog to me. I would run home from hanging out to catch ECW. I would leave Pop Warner football training early and run home to catch ECW before it started. So ECW and Rob Van Dam is the best thing probably that ever happened on earth. And they're the reason why I wrestle. So if there's a wrestler on TV today that you would like to wrestle, who would it be? Brock Lesnar. I think I would have a sick match with Brock Lesnar. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. John Cena. I can see you in John Cena. So what's what's been your uh, most physical match you've ever been in? Uh, uh, I've had a lot of really physical matches with Sammy Callahan that felt like they were uh, hardcore matches or ladder matches when a lot of times they were just regular old wrestling matches because he's just a really crazy dude. Solomon Crow is his name now on NXT, but... Uh, Back when he was on the indie scene, he went by the name of Sally Cal- Sammy Callahan, and the dude was a terror. Dude ripped through everything, was the man. He's a Tasmanian devil in the ring. So, uh, yeah, that guy, I say my hardest fall battles were with Sammy and probably a ladder match against Dave Christ and also a ladder matches. Any ladder match I've been in, at, especially at CZW, are always the – toughest matches have you ever received any um injuries due to pro wrestling have i 
have I ever seen any injuries? Uh, received. Received injuries? Yes, I'm pretty much um, always injured, basically. Uh, yeah, I've had broken wrist, uh, brain injury by getting you know severe concussion, which is the worst in my opinion. Uh, just everything. My lips been, you know, thirty some stitches in in and out. Elbow is, yeah, yeah, you name it. I'm in the hospital like every two, three months. Sometimes it's just to make sure nothing's broken, and sometimes it comes back broke. So what does AR Fox like to do outside of pro wrestling? Um, watch wrestling and uh, work out and uh, hang out with my wife and smoke. That's about my life right there. Basically, not much, not much sports or not movies or uh, anything. I'm not really into uh, following the mold, like, or doing what is expected to do, or what people are expected to do. If this movie's good and everybody's supposed to watch it, I tend to not watch it purposely. Or if everybody's supposed to be doing this at this time, I'd rather not. Or if there's a big debate on what color this dress is turning or something like those things you know I really don't really just watch wrestling and I just try to keep up that's it takes all my time if I'm trying to keep up with every top promotion and, and, and stay current with them you know than every day like just by being here today and wrestling all day I'm behind in wrestling now because NXT happened so now when we go to the room I gotta find it and then tomorrow SummerSlam and Monday is Raw, Tuesday's Tough Enough, Wednesday's Lucha, Thursday SmackDown, Friday's New Japan, Saturday I'm on the road. So, you know what I mean? That's, that's what I do, you know. That's it. So what's AR Fox's upcoming shows? I have Beyond Wrestling. A lot of Beyond Wrestling shows up in Providence, Rhode Island coming up. They're usually the last Sunday of every month. And I got a lot of Dreamwave wrestling going on. I got a lot of uh got a lot of uh bigger deals on the table too, but you're not allowed to talk to them until they until they come to light, you know. It's like a court it's like a it's like trial, you know, you can't really talk about it until it's over. Uh speaking of movies, what if they made a movie about AR Fox, what actor could play you and what would the title be? Um I don't know, man. I have no clue. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe uh maybe uh don't really look like me, but I I don't think anybody could play me personally, but if somebody was to try, maybe be like a like a Marlon Wayne's character. I would say Michael Ailey. Or Chris Tucker. You know who Michael Ailey is? No, I'm not familiar. Like I said, I don't watch movies, so uh yeah. Um <laughs> We asked about the upcoming shows. Um, we got CZW's a big upcoming show, September 12th. Me versus Mike Bailey ladder match. Chris Cash Memorial Show. Should be a good time. Uh, you can find me on Facebook slash QA Wrestling, Indie Wrestling Fan on YouTube. Uh, where can we find AR Fox at on social media? Just, just. AR Fox. I'm on Facebook. You could tag me on the other deals. I got stuff there everywhere. Just AR Fox, man. I'm a I'm a brand in its own, you know. It's not like I'm a ROH guy or a PWG guy or a CZW guy. A lot of guys are associated with a company. I'm becoming a brand of my own, so just look up AR Fox and you'll find me. So you can find him anywhere. Uh, this includes the interview with A.R. Fox to take my time yeah, for A.R. So. Fox on the show. Um, anywhere independent wrestling goes, one they go wrestling will follow. Any closing words? No. Just, I'm the whole Fox and show, the highest flyer in the game, baby. A.R. Fox. That's it. That's all That's all I got to do. I'm, I'm, I'm the best thing going, man. I'm a, I'm a living legend, I'm telling you, I'm working on it. 
That's that's what I got. If I had a little wrap up, I feel like I'm not tough enough. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's it, man. I'm just I'm just the greatest thing going, basically. Look at to that. be humble about it. This includes the interview with AR Fox. You can find me as I go on the go as next Friday, the 28th in Millersville, Maryland, as I do a Adrenaline Championship Wrestling. And you can follow him, um, CZW, com. Anywhere he goes, he's always going to put on a whole Fox and show. Signing out.